hi guys welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome my name is monica and today we are finally going to be doing my very first makeup basket for january of 2020 so this is the very first basket of 2020 and this is the last time you're actually going to see this setup for my everyday makeup basket because i did get an amazon gift card for my birthday and i was able to finally pick up a bigger version of this with like a flip top kind of thing. it's gonna be better it's gonna be awesome and i think it's gonna fit everything that i wanted to fit and be a really nice just everyday makeup basket kind of resource so this is the last time you're gonna see it set up like this so i'm not gonna spend too much time going over how everything's organized here because it's gonna be changing by the end of this week <laughs> whenever the amazon package gets here so we're just gonna go through quickly with the way i have it set up now just nothing too detailed because again this is all going to change i have a new setting spray from shop miss a up here i have my nyx bear with me primer i only have this up here because it's almost empty it doesn't fit in any of my drawers and i want to finish it up so that is there in this container we have my other setting sprays i have a mac fix plus and i have the little bit of the catrice a uh, prime and fine multi-talent fixing spray there's literally only a little bit left so once that is done that will go into my empties basket here we have some lipsticks that i want to use just kind of some carryovers some new i've got a green lipstick from jeffree star i got a shop miss a i got my black moon a cosmetics black lipstick and i have a new lipstick from melt this next drawer i'm trying to bring in some more samples again so i've got a little mini sample uh mascara some foundations a summer friday's mask and some lipstick samples for the primer drawer, I think I'm going to take out the Charlotte Tilbury primer, not primer, it's more of a color corrector for under your eyes, and I think I'm going to take out this, you know, let's take out both the putty primers, and we'll, we'll pick out some new primers. I've got a whole drawer of primers that I don't touch, so we'll get some new ones. Let's see about here. I think most of this, I think I've got a month left in this Essence Lash Princess. I want to take out some of like the liners and glitters I was using. So like this MAC liner, this heavy metal liner from Urban Decay. Let's leave the glitter glue. Let's take out this Lancome. Um, I'm going to leave, should I leave? I'm going to leave that and take out this um, NYX liner i did get these two liners they are from a brand called escudo and they were sent to me in pr so i am testing them out i have a brown liner and i have a black liner and i think the rest is going to stay as is so we have the fenty fly liner i have some lash glue from house of lashes nyx glitter glue the um shop miss a aoa studio primer and the fenty primer the fenty primer honestly i'm not a huge fan it's uh, textured it doesn't look good in my lids so i'm gonna give that probably one more month and then if it's still not doing any better that's gonna get tossed so for foundations concealers and powders i'm gonna take out most of this and yeah let's just take out most of this i'm gonna take out these two foundations i have the misha perfect cover bb cream in 27 and the Too faced do you in porcelain I have been using Dermacol a lot recently, but I do want to switch it up and use something else, so I'm going to move this back into my collection. Same with this Ulta concealer. I still really like it. It's a little bit dark for me, but I can make it work. This is the Full Coverage Liquid Concealer in Light Warm. I'm going to move back into my collection. Okay, so this is everything I'm going to keep in the drawer. I did pick up, I finally got my Shop Miss A order in. I did pick up a few more like rebuys. So I got another uh, pressed powder I'm using. The Hourglass powder is almost empty. I think I can finish it this month. So I just want to leave it in there. And then I did pick up a couple of the um, Shop Miss A concealers. These are the liquid concealers in Fair Ivory and Porcelain are the two shades that I have. And then I have to keep my white mixer in here because my white mixer is life. Oh, this is a bit of a mess and again I am going to be moving out most of this so let's just take it all out. I really want to bring in another face palette so I will be moving out this Hourglass face palette. This is the Unlocked palette from last holiday season. These two will be moving back into my collection. This is a Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer and then this is a MAC and Patrick Star um, like blush duo. Yeah. 
I'm also going to move out this Makeup Geek highlighter in Celestial. I picked this up not necessarily on its own. I got it in a new beauty box that I am getting. That's the Tribe beauty box. If you missed that video, I'll throw it up in the cards. All right, and as this is my powder drawer, it is messy. I will clean that up, but this is everything that is staying in my powder drawer. I have the um, ABH Dip Brow Pomade since I finished my Pan That palette, and I'm not using eyeshadow for my brows anymore so i had to bring that in i finally got <laughs> my uh, shopman's a loose powder that i adore and i still have the juvia's place powder i'm really just trying to finish it up i really don't like it it doesn't work as good for me the like as a lot of other products do but it's like literally almost empty so i just want to finish it up and move it out all right we've got our hot mess drawer so let's just clean this out <laughs> These lashes I think still look good, so I'm gonna move them back into my lash drawer for further use. These lashes from AOA Studio I did use, I especially used them in my tutorial for my glam New Year's Eve look. If you missed that I'll throw it up in the cards, but I'm gonna rotate these and pick out a new pair. Uh, moving out to the other Urban Decay Heavy Metal Liner I had in here. And then these two palettes, I'm going to move back into my collection. I have the Davina Moonwell bundle. That was the collab with Angelica Neekvist. And then I have the Elvira palette from a Lunatic Cosmetics Labs. And it's gourd. Look at this. But I have used it a few times and I want to get better at rotating palettes. So I'm going to put this back into my collection. The only thing still left in here is the Shop Miss A palette. Alrighty. And then I did clean out this bottom drawer. So it is also empty. We've got a lot of stuff going on over here, but we're going to get back to this section once we actually shop my stash. So let me put away all the makeup, and then we'll move over to the side of my desk that has all my makeup collection, and we'll pick out some new products. Okay, so here we are in my nice little makeup collection section. I really want to pull some primers, and as you can see, my primer drawer is like packed to the brim. So let's bring it on to my desk. So let's see, I want to bring this. What's this one? Let's do that one. I'll pick three because I also need to make room in here to fit the primers that I pulled out. So this can actually go into the spray drawer. I think I've got room up there just to make a little bit of room. There we go. This primer drawer really is packed. And then we got the BB cream the blurring primer. I'm going to be bringing in these two kind of mini products. This is the MAC Strobe Cream I got a while ago. And are you in focus? And this is a product I think I got as a free sample with a Sephora order. This is from Stellar, and this is the Brilliant Primer. I'm also going to be bringing in this uh, Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizer Primer. Now the moment of truth. Oh, and it closes. Beautiful. So, let's see. Do we need concealer? I, let me pull out one more concealer. Um, to go with the shop masse. Let's, let's see. So I want to bring these in. These are from Makeup Revolution. These are the supersized versions of the Conceal and Define Concealer. I have shade C5 and C6. And it's been so long since I've used them, I don't know what shade I would be. So I'm going to bring them both in and see which one matches me best. And concealer. I think I'm good for liner. Um, I need to rearrange how I have my lashes. Most of my lashes are down here. I want to keep my glitters in here and actually like shop my stash whenever I want to glitter as opposed to bringing out like certain glitters. Uh, but single shadows. Do I want to bring any single shadows in? Hmm. No, I think I'm good for there. These are all lipsticks. I already pulled actually a few lipsticks I'm going to use. So let's go into foundations. I really want to pick out a few foundations. All right, so foundations, let us see. Hmm. I also need to do a declutter in here because there are a few of these that I know for sure that I've tested and don't like and I really need to just remove from my collection. <laughs> okay, I really want to bring this one in. So this is a foundation I haven't reached for in a while, but since I've been reaching for Dermacol, I think I'll be able to reach for this. This is the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation, and it is super duper duper full coverage, and I haven't used it in a long time, so I need to bring this one in. I also want to bring this one out. This is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate, and this is in FO2, so I think this is slightly too light for me, but I can always mix it. And let's see, let me pick out one more. 
do I have any of these that are almost empty? And you know what? Since that other foundation is almost too light for me, I'm going to bring in this one from The Ordinary because this one's slightly dark for me. I think it'll be a good mixing foundation with that Makeup Revolution one. All right, and that's everything in here. I've actually been doing really good about not buying <laughs> too many foundations and actually like shopping my stash and using up what I have. Because also, I don't think you can see it, but back here... I've got like unopened foundation still, <laughs> like as backup, so I really need to use what I have in here. Alright, this is the last nicely organized drawer you're gonna see. The next drawer is an absolute hot mess that I have to rearrange. <laughs> so let's see, I want to pick out a pair of lashes. I already have a loose powder. I think I'm gonna pull out a face palette for bronzer. Let me pull out a blush then. So I know I just did a whole video talking about how sick I was of the peach version of this, but I have a pink blush trio from ABH, and I haven't gone for like a hot pink blush in a hot minute, so I'm gonna bring this one in. And yeah, I think I'm gonna save bronzer and contour for a face palette, but for lashes, let's see. Let's use these from the Sephora collection. These are the Fringe Number no. 4 Faux Seal Lash from the Sephora collection. And those, I'm sure, are old as sin. <laughs> Alright, prepare yourself. I told you. This is messy, okay? Try not to judge me. Yeah. Yeah, so hi. Here we are. These are my highlighters and face palettes, and it's literally a hot mess. I removed most of my, uh eyeshadow palettes because there used to be the last bottom two drawers of this used to, oh excuse me used to be eyeshadow palettes but let's move this way it's a little bit messy but that bookshelf over there now has 95 percent of my eyeshadow palettes so i want to clear off this little bottom shelf and finish the rest of my eyeshadow palettes there so i can use this alex drawer for just what's in here and i really need to separate out and have a, a drawer just for face palettes because at this point it's needed because it's taking over the highlighters so let me just pull out a few i'm not going to reorganize it all right now because it's like eight o'clock at night and it's a work night <laughs> uh, so i'm just going to pull these out and pick out a face palette or two for me to use and hopefully by by the next shop my stash video this will be better organized Okay, so I've decided on two palettes. The first one is going to be this Makeup Revolution Pro HD Powder Contour Palette. There's like a ton of shades in here and it's brand new. I got this, I think when I bought those Makeup Revolution concealers, I got a free gift with my Ulta order and it came with like a bunch of stuff and this was one of them. So I'm going to try to test this for formula out, see how I like it. And then I also want to bring in this Too Faced Natural Face Palette. Because I do love this palette, but I haven't reached for it in God knows how long. So we will move this in. And should I pick a highlighter? I don't even know. In the spirit of using up my problematic shit that I started with my Pan That Palette 2020 intro, which if you missed that, I'll throw it up in the cards. This is Ice Cold by Jeffree Star. And this is the only other Jeffree Star highlighter product that I have so I'm gonna bring it in use it see if I still like it all right the next two drawers are also works in progress they're mainly empty I've got like some lip products in the next drawer and the last drawer is totally empty so I will reorganize all of this and try to do better at uh organizing this but I'm, I'm also waiting for the new um the new acrylic organizer I have for my everyday makeup basket so I'm gonna wait for that to come in do the everyday makeup basket first and then move on over here but I'm actually pretty happy with how the uh eyeshadow palettes are coming out so far on my bookshelf I think they look really pretty Okay, so now that we've picked out all of the makeup, I'm going to go ahead and put it into my everyday makeup basket and then show you the final result. Alright, so we are back at the everyday makeup basket. Let's just go through what's left over here because there's only two palettes now. This palette is actually from a brand called UK... UKMA? UKMA. <laughs> I backed a Kickstarter, my very first Kickstarter, and it was for this beautiful palette. Look at this. 
I thought it was unique. I thought it was different. I haven't actually fully tested it out yet, but I want to do a full video on it since it was a Kickstarter that I supported. And it did take a few, like over six months, I think, for me to finally get it. So I'm excited about it. I think it looks really nice and beautiful. So I'm excited for that. And then back here, I have my Pan That palette for 2020, the Blood Sugar palette. So that lives over there. Let's start with the bottom this time. So I've made this my other de facto eyeshadow palette drawer. I have the Natasha Denona Metropolis palette. I have these two little quads from Midas Cosmetics. Look how beautiful that is. Oh, I'm so excited to play with those. I'm going to be doing a spotlight on petite palettes with those as well as with this i finally picked up the huda beauty nude light palette so those will be coming in videos soon next we have another miscellaneous drawer i have the shop miss a eyeshadow palette i have the abh blush trio the lashes and the jeffree star highlighter Next, we have most of our powders, our contour palette, the natural face palette, the two loose powders, and the um, ABH dip brow that I'm using, which is actually almost gone. Next, we have a few more powders along with all the foundations we picked out and the concealers. I look how pink and cute all the concealers look together. <laughs> Nothing really changed in our eye drawer at all, so that's just going to stay. <laughs> and this is our new primer drawer. So that is everything. Uh, like I said, hopefully this whole setup will be changed before the next Everyday Makeup Basket Shop My Stash video, since I am going to be getting a newer, bigger acrylic case just for this section. And hopefully I won't have to have like the extra stuff on top. It should hopefully all fit in the one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below what you're going to be using in January and if you're starting any year-long project pans. Thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye.